this Black Friday, you can sleep in. Black Friday. Over the region. Retailers are calling this their super. 149,000 stores offering sales in the Black Friday. Millions of dollars in cash sales changing hands. The stores. <laughs> the flu season is off to its earliest. It seems to be the previously unknown variant of the flu. Really? Suspected case catching many experts on guard. Today I was feeling like maybe. I'd... On the breaking news, leading with unconfirmed reports of a, a smallpox small outbreak, outbreak is a highly rehearsed scenario. And National Guard units converging no on a hospital trains. in Central The bridges are closed. It's a war zone. It's a very real more danger. More than more than a There's bowl. not enough vaccines. No, let me going. stop you there. This is not a panic situation. An entire American city. No, 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 no. Green poison. Central Park has been converted to a mass burial ground. Power outages, gas line leaks, fires. The government is expecting another night of widespread looting. The people of New York are begging. What would have happened? Fire and health and the first responders are either dead. No resources available. You treat them like animals. It's not a job. We're not trained for. When we were activated, we knew the situation was bad. Worse than anyone knew. We are an elite, highly skilled group of embedded agents. They only call us when everything else has failed. We have no rules. We have no limits. Our job is to protect what remains. We are your co-workers. We are your neighbors. We might even be your friends. And when we get the call, we leave everything behind. We are the division. Over there, there's a bar behind that building. Best whiskey sours in Manhattan. If we take this city back, I'll buy you a drink. Sorry, I mean, when we take it back. Here it comes. The rest of us should be in this chopper. Can't believe it's finally happening.
way than me! Shit! That explosion took out the commander! We have a job to do! We're still gonna do it! It's just... Landing in one minute! Should be able to see it coming up on my right! JTF-68 to tower, visual Hudson. Yeah. The division agents on board. The explosion was their right in. Okay, clear to land. JTF-68. Usually you need some time to know if you can count on someone. Well, we're out of time. My bet's on you. It has to be. I hope to God I'm right. You're looking to get out of this. Everything behind this gate is a goddamn war zone. So who's in command here? Captain Benitez was in charge. He was leading up to the post office, but we lost contact when he left base this morning. Feast on radio side of the fight tomorrow. There's talk of pulling out. No one's pulling out. We're taking this city back. Get whatever gear you need. I'll catch up with you. Good luck out there. Y'all made it. Agent, we need our base up and running, and we need to show the people of New York they're getting their city back. Our base of operations has potential, but right now it's a piece of shit and we've got no one to staff it. To get this place where it needs to be, we need people who know what they're doing. Like doctors, there's a virologist running a field hospital over at Madison Square Garden, but the whole area has gone to shit. With her, we can get our medical facilities online. Without her... The JTF commander, Benitez, is out in the field and he's gone offline. Bring him back. We need him to set up a functional security wing and it'll do a hell of a lot for morale. We've also got to restore basic services. We need power and the intel the grid can give us. They had a guy working on that, but it sounds like he ran into trouble patching us in. Without him, it's lights out. Hey, bad news. I'm not gonna be able to get out there, not with my goddamn leg like this. I'll do what I can from here, but it's not the same. You have no idea how much I wanted to be in the field. I trained for a scenario like this my entire life, but it's worse than anything we could have imagined. You know how they won't let you get too close to anyone, so it won't mess you up when you're finally activated? Well, I did that, and it didn't fucking work. I'm attached. These are my people, this is my city. We're taking it back. Oh. Look, you need to... Yeah, okay. Okay. They're counting on us. Let's not let them down. Well, look who it is. Thanks for getting me out of the garden. I've been in some hostile work environments before, but Jesus. Of course... It's not like this place is going to win any prizes either. Antique equipment, zero staff, patients lining up out the door. This isn't going to cut it. We're doing the best we can, Dr. Candle. Any suggestions you might have, I'm happy to listen. I know, I know. Beggars, choosers, all that crap. What matters is beating this thing, but I can't do that without knowing more about it. Here's a good place to start. Sarah is pretty sure Dr. Gordon Amherst had something to do with the outbreak. God. That asshole. Saw him present a paper at Columbia once, he nearly started a riot. He's part of this? I need to talk to him. Anything of his you can find. Notebooks, laptops, close personal friends, I need that too. And we need to talk about live samples and antibodies. You're gonna be busy. And you'll be? Fixing this. Saving lives. Now if you'll excuse me, I'll get started. Come on over. Captain Benitez even found some fresh coffee. Uh, I just happened to walk by what's left of Kerman's. So what we're responsible for is Midtown to Lower Manhattan, mainly because nobody can get off of this island right now, including us. The biggest problem we have is manpower, or lack thereof. 
Right now we got criminal elements occupying and controlling most of these neighborhoods. Rikers, cleaners, street gangs. Yeah, I don't have enough people to secure a block, much less maintain order and safety, so... Basically, these assholes are running around taking whatever they want and killing whoever they want because we got nobody to stop them. Which means we get the task of cleaning up these neighborhoods so we can at least get food and medical aid to the residents. I don't know. I mean, an area this size, this many bad guys, I don't think you people can handle it alone. I mean, no offense. I just don't like the idea of throwing you to the wolves. Captain, we are the wolves. Right. Well... Then, maybe, you can convince the Division to send more of your guys. For the time being, what you see is what you get. I can't believe I'm begging the Feds to take over my city. Any intel we receive, you'll be the first to know. Good luck. You'll need it. Hey there, I... Give me a second. Yes? I'm sorry, Dr. Kendall, but the sample's not producing results that... It... Did you run them at room temperature? Uh, you said... I said room goddamn temperature. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're within temperature variances. You know what? I'll do it myself. Just put it down and we'll both pretend this never happened. Hard to believe you can't find good help in the middle of a pandemic, right? Anyway, the good news is we are up and running on what you've brought in so far. Dr. Ellis taking over the hospital wing was a lifesaver. Now I can focus on research. My wife always says I'm better with pathogens than with people. My ex-wife. Bunny. Anyways, you just keep doing what you're doing. We are halfway to a blueprint for a vaccine, and with your help, we will get the rest. Look, I don't do sentimental, but you got me out of a jam there, so thanks. But I know you want more from me than just warm fuzzies for saving my sorry ass. I'm like getting this shithole up to par. Oh, government standard, I see. Nice to see they're still keeping the bar low enough that even roaches can walk right over it. You want quality? You go private. That's what I learned in Basra. Oh, yeah. See, you can't just live on farts and good intentions. Power, water... All the bells and whistles. Not that you're the first one to try it. I hear a bunch of you people went missing when the shit hit the fan. Got some theories about that myself. My point is, when you're out there hooking up the city, poke around a bit, see what you can find out. Maybe the virus got him. Maybe the brutes got him. Maybe the city opened up its rotten core and swallowed them whole. I believe that. It's happened before. Fucking city got my wife. Miracle, I'm still here, really. You know, they say a pessimist is a disillusioned romantic. Well, whoever said that's a fucking asshole. Go on, see what you can find out. I'll let you know which shit to hook up. Careful, this fucking city doesn't eat you, too.